Okay, so here in the Mori 4.6 beta, it's an open beta, and uh, I looked at your channels in the last episode. So let's take a quick look at some of the new features here in the node graph. So we have collapsible nodes. Uh, if you are uh, on a paying membership for a subscription for Mori, you're entitled to uh, take part of this open beta. So let's take a look here and dive into Mori now and take a look. First off here, prior to 4.6, we have this giant node so if i create material like for example material it's um the shader for example is very big and um prior to this beta the nodes were always this big and that was annoying so now we have actually have states here so we can have collapsible states and we can uh, a complete list of nodes or collapsed. And that's also true here if I create a multi-merge, for example. So multi-merge is a way to blend material nodes. So let's create a multi-merge, multi-channel merge. Say that it's a pixel surface we want to blend. And we get this, the default now. So it, it, it kind of looks like a general blend node now, but um, that's not the case really. If we would expand this, you can see you still have all of the streams. So when you blend something, you don't get these skyscraper nodes anymore. You can also have them fully collapse like this. That's gonna collapse to the, this, the normal state. So let's say that base, that's gonna be a complete material. Let's say that another material, I think I have a one over here. He's made a few dummy ones here. Render man or uh, this one. Now this one is over. Connects everything under the hoods here. We can take a look, see that that's the case. If I go full screen here on the no graph, expand this out, you can see you have all the connections. If I now go back here, you see here. So now we have a more tidy way here. We can take this now and pipe this into the diffuse gain here, and it's gonna auto connect everything. You can also collapse, you can also expand out to expand the, the nodes out to different states here. So in my case, if I use Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 4, for example, it's gonna be different nodes here so we can cycle through. And you can find these settings here under, uh, let's see, uh, shortcuts and go to uh, node graph. And I think it's these up the top here. So they switch uh, the different modes. And also we now have a, a better uh, auto arrange here. So if I disconnect this here and take a look here, it's gonna build some channels here onto this uh, Pixar node here first, so we can have something to demonstrate with. And now if I hit L, it's gonna first um, rearrange those. So let's insert a uh, material here. Let's take my uh, shader on two here and see what happens. Yeah. So there we have uh, some kind of plastic material. If I now here select the shader and hit the L button again, it's gonna lay it out here. This is much better than uh, previous and it made a big mess. I still here would like to uh, actually get this node to go over like this. So all of the layer, the over nodes, I would like to cross and have them there. So I get like the, the incoming material as in the over, actually over the graph rather than in between there. Ostanic would give more real estate to build the mask nodes, especially if I have a few materials. And let's say that we add another material on top here somewhere. So here we have uh, just a few uh, material nodes here. And if I hit L here, we can see that, yeah, they are laid out much better. And let's try this Alt 1, Alt 1, Alt 4, Alt 2. So yeah, that's the, the new uh, rearrangement of uh, the nodes and you can collapse. So we have uh, different ways to do it. We can do it there. We can also do it with uh, the shortcuts, like so. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna look at the next um, set of features in uh, the next episode. Uh, see you there.